I wanted to talk to you a little bit now about uh, your latest project. Um, visit, visit Fort McMurray. Yeah, your visit Fort McMurray. I love what you're doing because you are trying to fight the stigma of about Fort McMurray and it is out there. There is stigma. I didn't realize it was that bad ex until I went to BC and talked to mm. these protesters. They think you live in a garbage can and they literally live, in they the live in a garbage can, but they think Fort McMurray is the ugliest, most disgusting, toxic place that has ever been. And you are doing something on your own. You're nobody's giving you money to do it. You're just doing it on your own, um, driving around your town with the making these amazing little vignettes about the hidden beauty of Fort McMurray. Why don't you tell us about it? Well, I wanted to, so I was been traveling around the country at pro pipeline protests constantly for the past like six months. Right. And sometimes they're fun and sometimes they're very stressful, but like having a con like oil sands a strong, my Facebook page, which does very, very well. It has some of the biggest reach out of all of them. Even though my likes are only 50,000, my reach sometimes is three, 4 million a month. And, but it, it sometimes it's just so much anger that I have, like, you know, like you're, you're, you're pointing out hypocrisy. You're taking on Jane Fonda. And I thought, you know, what, what, what do I do when I want to one wine? I usually take my dogs. I find a Creek or I, work on my yard or whatever. And, and Fort McMurray has some of the best air quality in the world. It has the best water in the world, but no one thinks that. So I thought I'll take these little tiny little things and try to try to showcase it. But I also wanted it to be unique and different compared to what, you know, the mainstream media would do. And for instance, I went to Tower Road. Now, Tower Road is a road where before people used to take garbage out there, but they don't, don't, they don't do that anymore. It's all been cleaned up. And if you drive it for 15 kilometers, there's a lake. And there's actually a horse ranch there and a camp. And I never knew that till two days or till two days before I did the video. So I wanted to take those little points and I'm going to do 365 of them. So one of those a day, it's about approximately three minutes long. And I'm going to just highlight little different points about the community. So I'm, I'm very excited and, I, and it's gone. It started to go mini viral and I'm hoping to keep doing it quite a bit. So it's just a different way that I thought I could fight the, the misconceptions about Fort McMurray because there's nothing like Camp Cloud here anywhere. So I wanted to showcase that. That's an excerpt from my weekly full-length show, The Gun Show. On my show, I take on the issues of the day through my Alberta conservative lens, and I talk to the real newsmakers the mainstream media ignores. To get access to my show and all of our other premium content, click the link on the screen to subscribe today.